Hi, so I'm going to do a quick video today. This is the 75th anniversary of D-Day, and I'm about to head off to work, but I want to do an unfiltered, unscripted, pretty much unedited video about my feelings as raw as possible on the battle and the actual uh, effect that it's had on me and also this country and why it's important for us to understand and also to appreciate the heroism that went in into the effort and also the overall goal of what the allied forces were trying to do. It wasn't just about freeing a country. It wasn't just about liberating Europe. It was about liberating the entire world because at that time in history, we had a situation where on the West, you had the empire of Japan expanding themselves, going into China, going south into uh, uh, southeastern Asia, expanding, possibly even going into Australia. Then, of course, you had Nazi Germany, their expansion west and east into Poland, France, Britain, and creating two fronts. And ultimately, had they had their way, would have taken all of Europe and as well as Western Asia. And so, what does that mean for us? Okay, what does that mean for us today? I've heard people saying that. You know, the big thing today is global warming and how the uh, the efforts today that the challenges we have today are more important than anything we've ever done. And I take major exception to that. I take major exception to that because without America and the situation that we have today, had it not been held in place and have been preserved, we would have a whole different world today because without America, you don't have intervention in South Vietnam. You don't have intervention in South Korea. You don't have intervention in areas like Cuba to keep communism and socialism from expanding. And so what we find is that after World War II, the threat of global conquering was pretty much gone because of the threat of nuclear war. What we had after World War II was essentially proxy wars all over the place for the for the war of ideas and how people should be governed. And we had an expansion of socialism and communism throughout the world. And so, again, it was America intervening in North Korea, intervening in North Vietnam, so that these countries could, so that these countries, people who wanted to be free, had that ability to do so. And it was only America that had the power, the moral fortitude, and the will to do just that. And so today, on the 75th anniversary of D-Day, I want to say that if you don't understand the conflict and what that meant, if you don't understand what it took to do that particular effort, I said today in a post that D-Day is the most complex logistical military operation in the history of mankind. It was an operation that was months in planning. It was a decision that was wrapped in controversy and pressure because the invasion force had to pick a place at a time that number one was doable and number two was secret because Nazi Germany, Hitler knew that an attack was coming. He just didn't know where. And through a huge covert effort, through espionage and through deception, the Allied forces were able to successfully hold the beachheads 75 years ago on June 6, 1944. And the effort that it took to do that is immeasurable. So there's actually one little story I want to say that I think about a lot. And that is, on the day of D-Day, Eisenhower, who was the uh, Allied uh, commander, who was in charge of the entire force, he had a decision to make. There was a tide situation with the water coming in that to come across the waterway into Normandy would have been very hectic had it not been done at a certain time of the day. Also, the weather in general, the season, was not at a time that was something that could be just done haphazardly. They had to pick that particular day or that week or else they would have to wait another three or four months. Another three or four months would have meant that the uh, Nazi Germany or the, or the Axis could have figured out what was going on and thwarted the attack and ultimately killed 
thousands and thousands of Americans and made the operation a total failure. And so Eisenhower had to make a decision. There was huge cloud and storms going on, and which made the drop for the paratroopers almost impossible because they had to have the wind in their advantage to make the landing spots that they wanted to make. However, the there was a a, a, a weather break. The, uh, the the military weather team came up with a window of when they could actually take it and go. And Eisenhower, being the decisive person that he was, said, "You know what? Let's go for it. Let's do it." And with that, he let he set forth the D Day invasion. There's actually a letter that uh, Eisenhower wrote that had the invasion gone south, had it failed, had they not been able to take the beachheads. He wrote this letter and had it ahead of time. That letter is available online. I'll put a link to it below. But read that letter and see how Eisenhower, in his somberness, uh, took the defeat and took responsibility for it. And thank God he did not have to send that letter out. At the same time, it just lets us know what stakes were involved. I'm going to put some links in the description below on some videos that you can check out if you don't understand or want to know more about how the operation went down and why it's so important. And so today, as we think about D-Day and we have our president in Europe now at the beaches of Normandy, let's just think about what it took for those men, those brave men, to hit those beachheads, to, to jump out of those airplanes, to go behind enemy lines, to cut signals, and to, and to do that. Let's also think about Great Britain, who was able to hold out long enough for us to get the material in place and the training and the tactics and everything else in place. Because if they had not held out, there would have been no point for D-Day because it had already been too late. And so with that, hope everyone has a wonderful day. And let's, again, think about D-Day, think about our veterans, and let's appreciate what we have in this country. America, the greatest nation ever to be put on this earth. Thank you.